On the podcast, Nigel Clarkson chats with Chris Connor, who plays Elvis in the world-famous Elvis show. Right, on the Sands Showbiz podcast today, it's Chris Connor. Hello, Chris. Hello, thanks for having me on. Oh, it's a pleasure. And the world-famous Elvis show. And it's coming to us just down the road from the studio at Blackpool on Saturday. You're looking forward to it? I am, yeah. It's always a good night in Blackpool. Good atmosphere. I've uh, been there for quite a few times now over the years. But, yeah, it's great. Yeah, how's the show going? Is it been, You've been on tour, haven't you, this year at various places? Yeah, we've been up and down the UK. I'm uh, going to Canada next month, uh, Australia next year, and uh, all the, the regular places that we do over here. It's, wow. uh, it's good. Brilliant. How long's the show been going for, Chris? Um, I've been doing this about 14 years, but that show's probably seven, eight years, something like that. Yeah. Can you explain, like, the schedule then of the show? So if somebody's listening to this and they, they fancy going to the show, uh, what's the show all about? Well, obviously, uh, obviously I'm, Elvis. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to say, yeah, obviously it's about Elvis and the music. Uh, the first part of the show is, is taken from like the 1968 comeback special when Elvis was in the Black Leathers. Uh, we do a mixture of songs from, from that particular show, plus a few that I've, I like and people have asked for, uh, over the years. Um, a few, uh, like remix songs that were put in the movie with Austin Butler a couple of years back, uh, to try and keep it fresh. Because obviously there's no new songs coming out. It's just, yeah. <laughs> you've got to work. Um, so there's a few from the movie that we put in. Um, the second half is, is more like a Las Vegas theme. Well, it, it is a Las Vegas theme. All, all the songs, Suspicious Minds, Burning Love, all the stuff that Elvis, uh, was probably more well known for with a lot of fans, you know, the white suit and, yeah. uh, and that kind of things. Yeah. We've got all, all the lighting, big band, um, great sound, great lights. You know, it's, it's a good night. Yeah. I've seen it. It's an amazing show. The setup is brilliant, isn't it? How have, have you managed to get all that together? Um, it's just what I wanted to see when I, when I started, you know, I didn't want to have a small band or I didn't want to skimp on lights or this, that and the other. So I, I just, as, as soon as I got a chance to do things my way, that's, yeah. that's what I did. I, I wanted the big band. So the music sounded great. I wanted the lighting. So the lighting so it looks good. Um, just, uh, and we try, we, well, we do that uh, every show, you know, um, I've, I've seen shows in the past where the promo looks great. And then when you go and see the show, it's like, yeah, they've cut back on everything. There's no lighting. There's no set. There's no... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's like that, what you see on the pro- promo is, is what you get in the in the theatre. Yeah, because you've got a 12-piece band, haven't you? The Steels. And, yeah. Uh, and also got the Sweet Harmonies as well as backup singers. Um, yeah. So it's some setup that it must take a bit of organising. It does, yeah. yeah. But obviously, like the more you do it, the easier it becomes. You know, everyone's good at the job, and the musicians are fantastic. The uh, the, the singers are fantastic. The, you know, the, the company that we use for for lighting and sound. You know, it's, it's they know now. You know what what we expect and what we want, um, and it all seems to, seems to go together well. I just have to turn up and sing. It's renowned for as one of the best in the world as well. And what I've seen of it, it's a fabulous show. It really is. But how do you get all the costumes sorted out? Who does all that? Uh, I get them from America. It's, uh, there's a company that, um, that, that supplies Elvis's jumpsuits. Uh, well, I think the guy who started the company actually made Elvis's jumpsuits uh, and then he made a company recreating yeah. them jumpsuits for, for anybody that wanted them. But they're expensive, but you know, if you, if you want it to look authentic and, and to look the part, you know, that's what you, that's what you need. Yeah, you do. I can't believe how, you know, how well you look. I think it's Elvis when I'm looking at the pictures of you on stage. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's just fantastic how you've captured it all. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's just like what what I, what I wanted to see if I went to a, an Elvis show. So I try and, I mean, if I went to an Elvis show, I'd want to see Elvis himself. So yeah, that's pretty impossible. Yeah, have you been a <laughs> lifetime fan since a kid? Yeah, I've liked since I've been a kid. Uh, like liked all kinds of music, really, modern music, old music, you know, current music, you know. Uh, but yeah, Elvis stood out, and uh, I liked him. Yeah, do you have a favourite song from Elvis? I haven't know. A lot of people ask me that. I think because yeah. it changes maybe week by week or show by show, you know, whatever you're in the mood for at the time. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you sung, sung all these songs so many times. It's, it, you mean you'd be thousands of times, won't it, really? Oh, probably. It will, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I still forget get, the words. You ever get into a performance <laughs> and you think, and you just lose it for a second and think, hang on a minute, where, where, where are we at this bit here? Oh yeah, loads of times. <laughs> <laughs> happens loads of times. <laughs> How do you get around that? How would you get around that? Say you forgot where you were in the song, 
You just do a little bit uh, of talking or something, or what? <laughs> just make a laugh out of it. You know, I, I, I have done it quite a few times. You know, sometimes you're singing a song that you've sung for that many times, and you know, and you might your eyes might get distracted with something, or a thought will come into your head, and you end up getting the words wrong. But you know, Elvis never took himself seriously, and I don't. So you know, if if that happens, you know, it happens, and you make a joke out, out of it, and yeah. the band are good, and you know, if I've Mr. Verse out or something like that. They follow me. Is it cut um, into two halves over? Like you said, aren't, you, you do two different sets. Is that over like the ice cream break, as I call it, in the middle? <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, there's like yeah. a 25 minute break in between, so yeah. I can uh, get changed and uh, tidy myself up a bit. And uh, but yeah, <laughs> the band, are, the band are great. You know, they follow me, they're, and they're used to me making mistakes. Yeah, I don't make that many. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you do. All, all, all the viewers will be like, it messes everything up for you. No, <laughs> no. no. If you if you watch the videos, no, it's definitely not the case because you got a great website that explains all about you. The world famous elvishow dot com. That's the website to go to, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, and like I said, there's, there's stuff on Facebook. There's stuff on on YouTube. You know, you can see you can see videos. Yeah. Um, uh, of what the show's like and, and what to expect. Yeah. You get a buzz before you go on stage. Yeah, I enjoy doing it. You know, I think yeah. when the day comes that I'm, I'll kind of lose interest, so I'd probably stop. But, uh, you know, I can't do it forever. Um, but yeah, I do, uh, I look forward to doing it. I enjoy the songs. I like having a laugh with the audience and, yeah. you know, it's, it, it's good. It's a good atmosphere. What's the biggest gig you've done? I did an outdoor, an outdoor concert once in in Europe, and I think there was ten thousand there. Wow! It was a rock and a rock and roll um, kind of event that they used to do every year. They don't do it anymore. Yeah. And it it was like a, a great big square that was full of people, and you know I sang for about I think it was about an hour. And that wow! Went, that was great. Yeah, out outdoor with Fantastic. the band. Yeah. Yeah. How many backing singers are there with you each time? Three. 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 Yeah. Three singers. And you worked with them for a long time, have you now? So they know the the score like. Oh yeah, yeah. We've uh, worked together for a long time. You know, some come and go, and you know, you, you, you change singers sometimes. But yeah, they've, they're great. Nice, nice girls. Have a good laugh with them. Yeah, brilliant. So it's a good crew you've got there. It is. Yeah, there's no no funny atmosphere. Everybody gets on. You know, everybody has a laugh, and uh, that's that's the main thing. You know, it's it's, it's fun. Yeah. So you got Black Bull coming up on the 14th. You got Sheffield on the 21st. Never been yep. to the Sheffield one. Is that a big arena? That one. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, probably similar, similar size to, to Blackpool, maybe a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a good, a good atmosphere again. That's uh, one that stands out as, as a good, a good night. Yeah. And then you're up to, uh, the northeast. You're going up to Middlesbrough in November. I am. Yeah. Yeah. 23rd. So you're busy. And then what do you do at Christmas? You get some time off or? Uh, yeah, I do. I think it's because uh, I'm from Oldham originally. We do a show in Oldham. I think it's towards the end of November, and then December around Christmas time is is we don't really do anything. Yeah, it's just relax and go out and do whatever you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> great. It's been great <laughs> speaking to you. Uh, how can people get hold of some tickets for your show, Chris? If you go on the Chris, the world famous Elvis Show dot com, um, and there's all the dates are on there. Scroll down to the one that you want. And there's an option there to buy tickets, which takes you straight to the venue, and uh, you can get your tickets that way. Excellent. Blackpool show will be busy, of course, because the illuminations are on at the moment, aren't they? So it's always it's bustling, isn't it, on the weekends? It is. Yeah, it's busy. Yeah, atmosphere and everything like that. Brilliant. Yeah, busy, okay. busy. App. I wish you all the best <laughs> for it, and uh, thanks for joining us as well. And I'll catch up soon, maybe next year. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me on. Okay, thanks, Chris. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank you for joining us and sharing in the untold stories of the stars. In the world of showbiz, there's always another story waiting to be told. See you next time. It's your